Okay, so I did my makeup for you guys because you know like sometimes I'll be wanting to do my makeup for these like wig reviews. So today I want it to look good for you. So um, the one thing I do want to talk about is the box. I've worked with this company multiple times now and um, I really do like their box. I'm always looking at like how, how the company will send things to store the wig in and um, Usually the companies I do select to do that with, they, they do send me decent boxes. It was delivered by FedEx. Bro, look at this dent. But the box is still good. It came with this. It also was in a ribbon. So like the packaging was really cute. Um, they gave me a hair tie, um, adjustable straps I can insert. So if I want to snug without like inserting the combs, because if you do not, if you're one of the people that don't like the combs, Cause like me with the ball cap, putting the combs in is bothersome because I don't want to rip holes in my ball cap. So these really do come in in handy, the adjustable straps. And then they gave me um, a wig cap. And I think I'm actually gonna add the adjustable straps. When I talk about adjustable straps, this is what I'm talking about. So if this is if you're if you're one of those who don't really watch my hair videos and this is like one of the first ones you watch this is where you're going to install the adjustable straps these are showing earlier you're gonna put those on here's all the lace when I when I bleach the lace too if it's like this I take the bleach further into the the unit so like if I want to do like a deep part or something you don't clock it as much you can't clock them knots so I'll do that. These are the adjustable straps. Just in case you don't want to do this part, you can just pull those and then tuck it in. It's just like a bra. Very, very simple to use. So if you put your unit on and it's not snug, it needs to be snug. It needs to fit on your head. So they they make it so you don't have to rig the hair up, like cut it all crazy or so straps onto it, you don't have to do that. This wig already has it done for you. Okay, so before I get any further into the video, I do wanna show you the back part of the wig. This is a 360 wig, and they already cut baby hairs out for you. So basically that means you can do updos with this wig. You can put it in a ponytail if you would like, especially if you're doing an installation that's gonna have you wearing it for a few days. So in case you wanna work out or something, it's versatile. And yeah, they did a really good job with the baby hairs. So it just looks like a bra strap. Same idea. Okay, so I'm putting the wig on. See how the straps are on. And then I'm gonna pull get it over. And there she is. So the unit is a ombre burgundy color. It's a full lace wig and 150% density and a 22 inch. So 22 inches long, the density is thick. Yes, you can order by density. Okay, if you want your hair thicker or not so thick, you can do that. This is how the hair looks freshly blow dried. so twice twice i did this to myself i thought i was recording start talking start laying down everything and then the camera shuts off because it wasn't doing anything it was saving battery so okay so i realized that there was a lot of sound going on in the background while i was like doing my hair so i'm just going to do a voiceover for uh, most of these parts so basically um as you can see this is self-explanatory i'm just going to cut some short hairs in the front some baby hairs and i'm just going to use my styling mousse to um to style it down <laughs> so yeah not not regular hair mousse y'all styling mousse there's a difference because somebody asked me in my dms like when they got their wig while their mousse wasn't working then they showed me what mousse they had and it was regular hair mousse no you have to get wrapping lotion or styling mousse you need to go to an actual beauty supply store and get one of those for you know for you to be able to um train the hair like you wanted to and for it to lay down properly so um after you put that in there i'm just gonna put a honestly i i cut into a t-shirt 
and I made this because I couldn't find um like actual like an actual wrap to be this size so I can like just lay down the edges so I just did a thin piece of cloth or you can get a ribbon and then uh so you can just lay down the the perimeter of your hair and it won't get in the way while you're styling the hair so um as usual per usual I'm just going to take a hot comb $20 hot comb nothing fancy get it at Dollar General or your beauty supply I think they sell them at Sally's and you know lay that down this wax this hair wax I actually got from my local beauty supply as well nothing fancy it does the job like you guys like you know how no 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 shade but you know on instagram they would always be showing like all these expensive uh hair waxes that you get from like these hair companies girl bye they all work the same like <laughs> save you some coin and get you a cheap one because it's just there to like lay down baby hairs so i did that i also used um i went ahead and put some waves put wanted the hair put some waves i wanted the hair down and um after i'm done styling it then the 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 hairline is trained so you know take it with a grain of salt take my advice or don't it don't matter but i like the way <laughs> this wig turned out so this is how it looks like i use my wand that i got from um doobie how do you say that how do you say that name um i got it from them i put their information down that was a big burp uh, I'll put their information down below. But yeah, I just use, it comes like in a three, it comes with three barrels and I use the largest one because it's the set. So, you know, you can interchange this, this part right here. I'm not going to touch it because it's still hot. So I did that, wanted the whole wig. I didn't see the back when I was curling it. So hopefully it doesn't look too crazy. So yeah, my my uh, rating on this wig is probably gonna be a seven out of ten. It's a really really good one. It's just it didn't fit to my head, and also I had to bleach the knots. So um, the hair quality, amazing. Hair color, perfect. They went in on this hair color, and that's major because you know like. Getting that ombre and you're not looking all jagged. That's a big thing for me. Okay, guys, this is going to be it for this video. I hope this is going to help you decide on your next wig purchase. And until next time, I'll see y'all guys later. Bye.